Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and uh, today's film is When the Raven Flies, which is a 1984 Icelandic film, and it is, at least according to the DVD case, the most authentic Viking movie ever. I think it actually might be the best Viking movie ever, the best Viking movie I've seen. I mean, I haven't seen, like, a lot, but I think this one's really cool. You have Vikings, but why not do Vikings in, like, a Sergio Leone kind of Kurosawa kind of way? It's really Leone, but showing even the influences Leone has, like Kurosawa and John Ford, and it's also kind of Shakespearean. It's got a, a lot of nice influences in it, and it shows that the people who made this thing, and director Harfin Gungelson, he really cared. There's a lot of skill that went into this. I don't think anything really looks bad or cheesy, because he really knew how to make, like, a good western, but let's put a western and make it with Vikings instead. It's very simple, effective storytelling. It's a very dark revenge movie, but how awful vengeance is and how it overcome everything. And what happened is this guy guessed in Ireland, he was with his parents and his sister and his parents were murdered and they took his sister and then he got away. And then 20 years later, he decided to go after the Vikings who destroyed his family. It was a pretty cool setup. And he goes after them with these like tiny, small uh, dagger things and it goes like, Ping! and he's very effective at getting these guys. And he, then he has to go after the main guy who it turns out actually married his sister and now they have a kid together and she actually doesn't really mind him <laughs> that much now she kind of loves him and stuff that actually kind of happened a lot is they, the Vikings would steal these women and they wouldn't really like being you know kidnapped and raped and stuff but after you know five years eh, it ain't so bad it sounds like just a simple go when he's coming back for revenge but there's a lot of stuff going on here and there's a lot of great characters i like this one actor in it helgi skulson he plays Throd, who's the one who's married to his sister. He's like the main bad guy. And his performance, it's really smart because the Raven is a symbol of Nordic and Viking religion, and it's also a movie called The Raven Flies. And the Raven is actually, reports back to Odin. It's kind of interesting that Helgi, when he plays Throd, has the movements of a raven. That's what he apparently he was trying to do, but it really comes across. And that he's always wearing black. The raven's a big symbol for this film, and so he kind of almost looks like a raven while he's acting like a raven. This is based on one of the Icelandic sagas. Well, how would you present an Icelandic saga in the late 70s, early 80s? Well, why don't we do it Sergio Leone style? And that'll get people into it. Even though the score's like modern, and it's shot in like a Leone, which is kind of a modern way, it's still kind of genuine. The Viking film answer to Sergio Leone. There's a big fistful of dollars reference that's like very glaring. Several people, big people have liked this. Igmar Bergman called it epic storytelling at its best and uh, Joel Cohen called it true cinema. It's a good film. You can't really shake it. The whole film is very kind of memorable because there's not, I've never seen a film like this. When I watch it with people they start laughing because the horses are Icelandic horses and so they're a little smaller and not like the horses we're used to in American films. Also, you get these great Icelandic locations, and this was shot in Iceland. It's actually the first Icelandic film to even use post-sound. And this really broke out on the international scene and got played at Film Forum in New York. It really branched out, and it doesn't happen too much for a lot of their films. This film really goes in with the environment because you see why the raven would be such an important symbol because it's around a lot. And how murky everything is and it kind of fits so well with the environment but it's such a unique environment I haven't seen very many films with this kind of murky rainy like beautiful bright green grass or just like a murky viking film I've never heard of that before a lot of people call this a cod western instead of a spaghetti western either. when this was released a lot of people in Iceland didn't really like it but also, uh, several years earlier, they banned Halloween, too. I guess they didn't really like violent films then. But now I think most people like it. The minimalist sound in this, it's really creative, and I really like that mix. Uh, but unfortunately, the Region 1 version of this movie is not very good, apparently. It kind of sucks, and it's really hard to find. But if you're in Iceland, or I will put a link in info of this video where to buy it. I don't know which region it is. So, so if you have a region free DVD player, it's part of a trilogy called the Viking Trilogy. The other ones are, which also follows it, is Shadow of the Raven and then uh, White Viking, which are directed by the same guy. I don't know. I haven't seen them, so I don't know. <laughs> they look cool. The score is really phenomenal, and that's one of the things. I wish I had the soundtrack or something, because it's really a great 80s score. That's one of my favorite parts about it, actually. I think it works really well. 
doesn't look cheesy for it really they didn't have this kind of big film production in this country they still pulled off a pretty cool movie but it's like a guy from Ireland taking his revenge on Vikings I think that's cool and it's neat to see people take these influences with an interesting twist and that's really what When the Raven Flies shows. If the off chance you have seen When the Raven Flies, comment below in the comments and uh, subscribe if you would like to. Yeah. So it's also called The Raven Flies and Flight of the Raven, but I liked When the Raven Flies. Like, that's when it happened. I don't know. I actually got this film when I was in Iceland. I think I did a, another Icelandic film a little bit ago. It's a great DVD. I listened to the commentary. The English version sucks. If that's the only way you can see it, but the Icelandic version is far superior. They mess with the sound, but it's a great DVD. You get commentary. Uh, the commentary is great. They talk about how great the Viking religion is in it, and they don't understand why Christianity is so big and stuff. That I like that. That was kind of a cool commentary track.